point. Um, also the Clyde pick. He was like a third. He was like pretty. I want to talk about the Clyde pick. Yeah. Because I talked about this with Mike last night. And we will have to get Mike on the show at some point. But so the biggest thing that I talked with him about was he he has this theory. And I, I completely agree with the theory. Where basically when you have these great college football teams, that LSU team was great. It was an all-time great team. It seems like a lot of guys get picked off that team. That shouldn't be. That aren't really that good. But because they got to play with so many great players and they were on such a historic team, they get overdrafted. Because if you looked at what that team did, it was past the football. And you look at the guys that were involved in the passing game from that team, how are they doing in the NFL? Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, and Terrace Marshall. They're all doing pretty darn good. But then you look at the other guys on that team that weren't part of like, yeah, they had a good defense, but... Let's talk about it. let's talk about the other guys. Grant Delpit taken just out of the first round. Patrick Queen first round. Caleb on Chase on first round. Clyde Edwards Alaire first round. It's like they were dragged in, and it happens with Alabama all the time because Alabama's great. We're like, oh yeah, they, they play for Alabama. But Bama's even different because Bama's like this guy. It, no, it's only like the historic Bama teams. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like this, it, like for Bama, it's like this guy, five star coming out of college or out of yeah. high school. He he's the best player ever to come out of Idaho. You know, it'll be like some random state, and it'll be like, yeah, yeah, he's the greatest player of all time. It's like he underperformed, but like you still see the talent. It like to me, especially for a position like running back, like you're saying, a lot of times, and it's hard to find running backs that aren't products of their environment. I mean, every player is at any position to an extent. Yeah. But who's the guy? I always think about this, like especially when you have like a great offense like that. Who's the guys? That, who are the guys that make it tick? It wasn't Clyde. Everyone, no one thought, man, if they didn't have Clyde out of George Hilaire, they would have they would really struggle on offense. No, it was about Burrow, it was about Jamar, and it was about Chase. I don't even think it was that that much about Terrace Marshall. I think he's yeah. I think he really came on the scene a little bit after, like. But it was those three guys. It was those three guys that were so great. And Jefferson was like Jefferson kind of got like overshadowed, but he was still great. Like he, like if you like if you go back and watch his LSU games, like Jefferson's still making insane plays all the time. Yeah. So I think you're right. I think that's a huge factor. I, I don't know how that happens though. Like I don't know. To me, like when I would like when I was watching those guys, I was like, I don't really think that Clyde's on the level of these other dudes. That was the biggest thing. Was Andy Reid got caught up in the Brian Westbrook. Which one, why is Brian Westbrook your target player? Like, I, I'm not against Brian Westbrook. I think he was a, he was a good running back. Like, he, he did his job for Andy Reid. But when you have a Jonathan Taylor where you could be like, okay, who could Jonathan Taylor become? And he runs like Adrian Peterson. Like, that's like the type of play. Now, the chances of him becoming Adrian Peterson. It, it, the best comparison for him was Ezekiel Elliott. Um, you know, coming out of Wisconsin was just pound the rock, 2,000 yards pretty much every year. Just absolutely carry that team why would you not want ezekiel elliott because you see what ezekiel elliott you see what saquon barkley you see what these big 10 guys do when they come into the nfl they they, they know how to run the football because that's what they do lsu wasn't a running team and i understand that the chiefs aren't a running team and so they were like oh we really want like this guy that can just get into space why didn't they go after swift like that was Swift's thing was he can get in space and he's nasty. I, I I think that was that was crazy. I mean they just reached and it. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand why teams reach like that. Like obviously sometimes it works out and you know it, it's way easier to point out the bad ones over the good ones. Yeah, and hindsight's but, always twenty twenty. Yeah. But at the time, both of it us, we still, were like, I mean, everybody was shocked when they took. I was thinking they could. I was like, maybe they go running back here. That could be smart. But and you didn't think Clyde. Clyde. And I was like, I, I I, like scouted J.K., Jonathan Taylor, and DeAndre Swift. I didn't even scout Clyde because he wasn't in. Like, I was like, yeah. He's... Well, because you thought the Ravens were going to go running yeah, back. Yeah, I, I was, like, I was like, Ravens, if they could go second round running back, I would love that. And I wanted them to get J.K. I had him as my number one running back. But, which, look at that. Look, turned out pretty good. I had J.K., then Jonathan Taylor, then DeAndre Swift. I think I did solid in my rankings. But, 
when you watch that and you're like, okay, this guy was like a third round grade. And they were coming off the Super That was after the Super Bowl, right? I, w- I want to say, yeah. Coming off winning the Super Bowl. And your weakness was very clearly defense. Why are they not going defense? And they just fell in love with this offensive thing. And I don't know. It's just, it's wild to me that that happened. I, I just wasn't expecting it at all. Yeah. All right. You, you want to talk about the Saints? 